Hey everybody, it's Emily, the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the African Nightcrawlers. Um, I actually wasn't planning on doing an update this week for them, um, because as you guys know, I'm waiting for um, harvest for them. So I poked in and had this banana peel. Well, there were two bananas in here, and they've just like demolished it, and there is nothing but little baby worms everywhere, which is super exciting for me. Um, I recently gave away some worms, so it's encouraging to see my population kind of build back up for me. But these castings, guys, you know it. I can't get over how beautiful they are. I mean, they're just so flaky and absolutely beautiful. Um, I threw in, if I can get it, some newspaper and cardboard um, to try to help dry it out just a little bit in here. And I just folded it up and put it in here to be kind of an absorbent thing for them. And look at that, there's just castings in between the layers. Um, and it, it seems to have done the trick to absorb some of the ex excess moisture. Because even in between the thick layers in here, it's still very, very moist. Um, but I might actually just lay this across the top now and leave the lid off for a day or two to finish drying this out. And um, I had told you guys that I wanted to try to bait these worms. Of course, I let them go too long because of the bananas. They pretty much devoured it already, so that's not going to really help me as far as baiting. Um, so I think... I'm going to put a um, corn cob in here. Is that a cocoon? Right there, guys. I'm trying to see. Oh, crap. I don't know where I pushed it. But that was a very, very um, mature cocoon, I guess. That looks like that's about to hatch any day but these guys are just so beautiful and I have some more paper down here oh my gosh this guy's huge look at him guys Ooh, he's giving us some neon flashes too my favorite see those neon flashes that you come just along this section right here gonna harass him just for a second gosh he's huge can't get over that this one too these guys just get so massive it's incredible but again sorry I got a little sidetracked just put some newspaper in here you know I can just use this newspaper to start back up my next bin but it was a good way to absorb some excess moisture and dry this bin out a little bit because the drier it is, the flakier the castings, the easier it is to harvest. Um, but yeah, the worms seem to be pretty much throughout the entire bin. We saw a cocoon and here's another cocoon down here. Let me zoom in so I don't knock it out of my hand. That is a more freshly laid cocoon right there, that yellow color. And I've said it before, but as they mature and get closer to hatching, they turn um, deeper and deeper red. And they're almost like a, a maroon color when they're about to hatch. Some people describe it as like a dark amber. But these cocoons are just so small. But it's always exciting to see them. So, let camera focus. I'm going to grab a corn cob. We're going to put it down on this side. Um, we will bait some worms next week. And then um, I was going to use the light method to harvest the remaining worms and then do my usual sifting. Uh, you guys had said you wanted to see the light method, so that is my plan. But step one is going to be to just bait out some of them over here with the corn cob. So let me grab that and we will throw it in the All bin. Right, so I'm just using one of these 
um, pieces of newspaper that are like double tripled up over here I just sprinkled some oyster shell and you guys might like this story I have some corn cobs as you can see there's some seasoning on them this one was not eaten at all we went out for crabs and anybody that knows Marylanders knows we are crazy about crabs and crab feasts and I had to have the awkward conversation with my waitress about why I wanted to take even the eaten cobs home with me. Come to find out she takes scraps home for her chickens. So you never know. People might give you weird looks sometimes but then other times you meet people that are just as into it as you are. So those are frozen. That's why I wanted to kind of bury them up a little bit. I might pull them out in a day or two and um, give them a little bit easier access in there but I want it to defrost first so it doesn't bother these guys. But yeah, I'm hoping next week we will pull some of these guys out and we can start the process of sifting and starting this bin fresh. So drop your comments below, like this video, uh, subscribe if you'd like a little bit more content from me, and I will talk to you guys real soon.